the vessel of oil might have come from. Right? Where does the notion of the vessel of oil that lasted eight days, where does it first appear in Jewish literature? It appears in, a, a, in the first written version of Torah Shabbat that we have, Migilat Tanit, which is a list of all the days in which you're not allowed to fast. That's a positive attitude. <laughs> I remember Marshall Waldox, who was, who was uh, actually is the uncle of my son-in-law, he used to go around to uh, college campuses giving a lecture on the 16 days you can. <laughs> sort of like kosher sex that the other guy did. So in this case, all the days that you don't, you're not allowed to fast, and most of the dates are dates of historical events, many of them having to do with victories of the Maccabees over the enemy. So they, they excerpt that part that said that the kingdom of the Hasmoneans, even though there wasn't a kingdom in those days, had entered, had overcome the Greeks, and had rededicated the temple, and then the whole thing with the Shemen. Now, it's clearly not in the book of Maccabees. However, there's a long tradition that whenever you dedicate a temple, God will provide you with magic, well, that's not a nice term, supernatural fire. Where's the supernatural fire in the Mishkan? The fire that came down on the Aron, and later the fire of Nadav and Avihu, but the fire came down. What's the second time yet? The second? Hmm? You have it later on with Eliyahu. He brings down the fire from heaven. That's the test that it's really from God. And Solomon also, when he dedicated the temple, he also had fire coming down. And in the book of Maccabees, they also have a miracle. It's the miracle of the muddy water. They describe that when Nehemiah, according to them it was Nehemiah, dedicated the second temple. He had a tradition that the priests of the first temple had hidden somewhere the original fire from the Mizbeach in Bayit Risham, and he had to find that. So they, I guess they found sort of like the, the Raiders of the Lost Ark, they found a map or something, and they knew where it was, and they went, and he sent somebody to go find it, and they said, there's nothing there but a bunch of muddy water. And he said, bring me the muddy water. And he throws the muddy water this is Nehemiah, according to the book of Maccabees, throws the muddy water on top of the Mizbeach he has just built, and what happens? What was the, what was the muddy water? Hmm? Oil. Neft. Oh. It said it was Neftar. That's the term used in Greek. It's Neftar, and Neft is, we use it in petroleum. It's uh, kerosene. That was the magic. So there's a long tradition of having a magic fire, a divine fire, and that might be the origin, at least of the same concept that we have with the magic vessel that burned all that time. So it's not so easy to make an absolute opposition between 